Men of Reddit, what's the most jolly thing you do on a regular basis? I spend way too much time smelling candles at the store and I get one for every season. I smell the candles at the stores too. There's nothing wrong with wanting to make your home smell good. I buy myself flowers pretty often. I have a big vase on a side table just inside the front door. Usually lilies. They look awesome and make the whole house smell good. They're only $7 at the supermarket, and I'd figure most people just think him buying for a wife or girlfriend but him single. Kinda weird I guess, but I like them so whatever. It's dumb how men are stereotypically supposed to find women beautiful, but appreciating the beauty of nature, specifically flowers, is supposed to be too jolly. Beauty is beauty and should be appreciated by everyone. I hate stereotypes. My wife actually asked me if I have a favorite flower which shocked me. Might've shocked her a little to find out that I have a fondness of sunflowers. So now she buys me one on our anniversary. My ex-GF once bought me ludicrously expensive Korean pure collagen eye bag things and now I'm addicted to them. Not only is it nice to not have eye bags. It's very relaxing to put them on my face and just close my eyes and let them absorb for 30 minutes. Edit, it's G9 skin self aesthetic eye patch. As a Korean, I'm appalled at the western world's approach to male face hygiene. Taking proper care of your face is not jelly. Your skin is your best friend for youthful looks and first impressions. And yet the western world seems to think that even with simple wash and moisturizer, once a day is towing the line of jelly or gay. Bubble bath. I find it so relaxing. I may be nearly 60, but I've enjoyed them ever since I was a child. Lucky, I haven't been able to fit in a bathtub since junior high. Really, but... I'm a 130 kilograms and can still fit in a bathtub. I wear flowers in my hair in Animal Crossing. I DK they look pretty. I got called gay for liking to play Animal Crossing. I'm now dating a girl whom our relationship was initially based on our shared interest in Animal Crossing. The Chosen One. Crying watching Disney movies or cartoon shows. I remember I went on a date to watch Toy Story 3 and that scene and Andy's goodbye happened and I was water falling. The girl looked at me in disgust asking if I was crying. Ask her how she iced didn't hear back from her. That scene did not make me cry. Even though it was touching. However, that girl is trash for judging you like that. Feel your feelings, man. Girls can cry, men can't. It's the double standard that we live in. But I use high quality facial scrubs, masks and moisturizers. I used to think that all I really needed to do was splash water on my face and I'd be good to tw And then the Fire Nation attacked I turned 25 and got my shit together. I bought scrubs, cleansers, moisturizers, and decent fascicles. Three years later, and my friends are showing the signs of aging and poor skin. And I look relatively the same. My dudes, take care of your skin. How? I've always just washed my face with water. And at this point I'm honestly too afraid to admit I don't know how to properly look after myself. I love candles. I spend more on candles than some people spend on food. I have one going now. When I live alone I'm gonna have so many candles it's gonna be like every day is Halloween. That's the dream, man. I use shampoo and conditioner separately. Dude you have to use 7 in 11 shampoo 2 conditioner 3 antifreeze 4 energy drink 5 vitamin supplement 6 hair gel 7 shaving foam. You joke but I legit have 5 in 1 upstairs. I don't even know why the five are honestly. The way I talk to my dog when nobody else is home is the most emasculating thing ever. This is considered jelly. I've not known any guy who doesn't baby talk to dogs and cats. I just assumed this was a human thing to want to do. Yeah. I mean my last German shepherd I'd argue with her. Sometimes I'd win the argument. When I need a break from the world. I pee sitting down. When I need a break from the world, I pee sitting down. Same. I hate that society labels this as feminine. But I share my feelings alert. The fact that fat's feminine is kinda sad dbh. 
duck the term jelly, and also real man and man up. I baby taught my pet bird. This morning. That's all I did. I grabbed him like a soda can. Laid down on my bed. Held him above my face, and gave him belly kisses slash face rubs, until he fell asleep basically floating above me. That's straight up cute. Stand with my hand on my hips. I do that every day. Didn't know that's jelly, but it's too comfortable to ever give it up. I always use a stall in a public restroom. Edit. Thanks Reddit. My most upvoted comment is on how I like to use the bathroom. Same. It's so much much private. Feels more comfortable than standing in front of a urinal. Not sure if this is considered jelly, but I still hug my teddy bear to sleep since I was 8. I'm 21. Apparently being an artist is jelly people usually expect me to be a girl even though both my username and my avatar look pretty manly to me also I cross my legs when I sit at it. To clarify, I'm a digital artist and most of the characters I draw are female which is why people probably assume my gender. Ditto. But nobody has ever called me a girl because of my art. Considering I make sure they know I'm a guy before I post my art because I'm a frequent user in the servers I post my art in. Same here. I was always known throughout school as the art kid. If anything else. It just made me more popular with the girls in my class as they would always ask me to draw something for them. Oh. Those were good times. Not the most jelly but. When I drank beer. It was always if you eason with orange or lemon slices. This was before micro brews became popular and men only drank real beer. I got a lot of shit for it until sours became popular. Beer is so funny, because it went from I drink beer, no fruit to oh my god. Have you tried Dom Napolo's new lactose fermented blueberry vanilla tangerine ghost? It's awesome. I use shaving soap with eucalyptus in it. I like to cook, and have been working on my plating, and garnish skills to give my food better visual presentation. Everyone's in a great, while I'll listen to Carol King. I regularly detangled, brushed, and braided my daughter's hair when she was little. That time is some of my most cherished memory. Well, would say that's jelly at all. That's more being a good dad. I'm a guy, and I sit with my legs crossed. I never got that. Why is it considered feminine? I've been sitting like that all my life and it's comfy. It was and still is a way that women cover the deep reaches of their skirts and dresses. Guess the culture ran away with associating it with feminine clothing and damned masculine identities from doing it. I cock my hip and put my hand backwards on it a lot. I hip check doors and drawers to close them a lot. Too. I also like to be the little spoon, even though I'm 6 feet 2 and a chubby boy. I love being the big spoon. But I'm 50. My favorite big spoons are the little big spoons. I jam out to Disney songs. It'll make a man out of you. Especially. Some people claim they have never once gotten down to business to defeat the Huns. These people are lying. The most jelly stuff I do. Weightlifting and kickboxing. Other than that it's just guy stuff like poetry and music. They have internet access on Themyscira? Why does Themyscira sound so vaguely familiar? I cry. Talk about feelings. Ask for hugs and cuddles. Hold a dog close at night. Yesterday I played who wants a hug, and hugged any interested animal for 10 seconds picking them up. I open up to my guy friends. We talk about everything especially sex and feelings. You know. Everything exactly the opposite of the crying doesn't solve anything dad used to tell us. Brush my mid back long hair. Backslash backslash m slash edit. Brush as in use a hair brush to comb it. Must have a brush with a long handle, to reach your mid back hair. Brush my beard, which is almost 3 feet long, and ask for cuddles. My wife hates cuddles, but at least my beard is comforting. But then again, guys do that too, so. I guess I do everything the other girls do, nice beard. I use feminine India, I'd rather smell like raspberries than whatever dark temptation is supposed to be. I use my wife's shaving cream out of laziness, and the passion fruit plumegranate smells way better than iceberg, or whatever smells the men's creams are. 
pedicures. Gotta take care of the feet. I'm not being affected much by this pandemic. But I do miss the monthly trip to the pedicure salon with my daughter. What's not to like about a steady stream of cheap margaritas and an attractive lady massaging my legs with hot rocks until my mind slows to a halt. It doesn't seem to be too far out of the norm, since I'm usually one of 4 or 5 dads there. I will continue assuming that they are dads. Whenever I can in video games I make a female character and I really enjoy dressing her up and trying new pretty outfits. Granted the outfits tend to be a bit skimpy. I'm still a guy. Games that are manly to play dress up and spend hours on fashion. Dark Souls. Dragon's Dogma. Monster Hunter. Fallout games that are not manly to play dress up in. Animal Crossing. Games that I do so. All of them. Also MMOs. I spent a lot of time playing dress up in World of Warcraft and Final Fantasy XIV. I like to make my nails shiny with this box thingy. Sit down to pee. It's better for your prostate. And when I wake up at 4am, the last thing I wanna do stand up any longer than necessary. Less mess. Too. And I don't have to put the seat back down. For some weird reason, a girl liked back in the day, found it funny that I like cats a lot. Because cats are inherently girly. Well tough luck. I now have two of them, and they are my baby girls. I never understood why people see dogs as masculine and cats as feminine. Both species have an equal number of males and females. I take bubble baths, play with them, and have a water gun to shoot around in my bathroom. Well that's less jolly, more of a kid's category, but I enjoy it very much. Don't forget the toy boat and the ducky, that's important. I have a daily facial skincare routine and subscribe to a monthly beauty box. I love feeling fresh and clean in the morning to start my day, so I take the time to do the whole 9 yards. Most mornings I take longer than my gf to get ready because I'm waiting for something on my face to dry before I can move on to the next step. I've been doing this for about a year and I can tell you my self confidence has improved just because I think I look clean. I get why girls, or whoever wants to, take the time to get their face and hair done before going out. It just makes you feel great. Sounds familiar. My fiance's morning routine is at least 45 minutes, while mine is about 10. This might be why people throw themselves at him. Lol. Overshare my emotions. Draw flowers listen to jolly music or Jane Austen. Men are only allowed to draw manly things like giant tree trunks. I was thinking about desabing from Askredit due to some of the recent posts. But this post right here may be my favorite thing I've ever seen on Reddit. Never before have I felt less alone than when reading your guys comments. I engage in a lot of manly activities. I love cars. Engines. Guns. I'm really into guns and firearm technology. Motorcycles and building stuff. I was a mechanic for 6 years and I don't mind getting greasy. But when I get home I love doing things that would typically be considered jolly, like some others mentioned. I always cross my legs when I sit. I pee sitting down, why stand when you can sit lol. I hate body hair, and I shave every part of my body, including my legs and sometimes my arms. I love having long hair and I love wearing women's clothing. My closet has two sides. One with men's clothes and the other with dresses, skirts, blouses, you name it. I have a drawer full of stockings, leggings, lingerie, etc and I even wear panties a lot of the time lol. It's always been something that I hide from everyone except those closest to me. And sometimes I would feel ashamed of it. But reading your guys responses made me so ducking happy. I'm so glad I'm not alone. You can be a man. Enjoy manly things. And still enjoy jolly stuff. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I hope one day I can muster up the courage to go out in public wearing a dress. But I don't know if I can handle that being an introvert. The absolute peak would be going to a shooting competition wearing a dress haha. I just worry that'll end up getting me shot eggs. Thank you op for making this post. And thank you to everyone who replied to this post. I've been really struggling with depression lately, but reading this made me feel happier than I have in a really long time. 
Now I remember why I keep using Reddit. I really hope you'll do the wearing a dress in public thing and meet some nice people. There are absolute dicks out there sometimes. Women get to wear everything they want. Why shouldn't men? I we have a calf in our shop and every once in a while this customer comes in. He will always wear fights. Skirt. Nice shoes and a blouse or women's apostrophe top. He is your typical guy around 50 to 60 and I always secretly cheer him on. He just seems happy. I hope so too. Maybe one day. I also always secretly cheer on guys I see wearing jelly clothes or painted nails haha. <laughs> I just never like being noticed when I'm in public and my face isn't feminine enough to pass as a girl haha. <laughs> Plus the second I open my mouth it's a dead giveaway anyway. The reason I love posts like these is because I feel like this is something that rarely gets talked about. And having all these people go oh yeah, I do the same thing really helps with normalizing it. Thank you so much for your support. Hey, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.